Today I will be talking about electrocyclic reactions. This will be the fifth lecture of the lecture series on pericyclic reactions and in this lecture I will focus on the 4 pi electron systems, 6 pi electron systems, diagrammatic representation of electrocyclic reactions, mode of activation and rotation of the terminal orbitals which, which are very very important in electrocyclic reactions and finally I will be talking about rules and factors for electrocyclic reactions. So first uh, like other type of reactions to realize the electrocyclic reactions uh, in organic chemistry an electrocyclic reaction is a type of pericyclic rearrangement uh, which involves the formation of a sigma bond between the termini of a linear conjugated pi system by two of the pi electrons or the vice versa okay and uh, this is the presentation uh, diagrammatic presentation or schematic presentation as you can see where this uh, let me take the pen here so if we go in this direction that should be the electrocyclic ring closure as you can see with a uh, open chain linear conformer with a six pi electron system uh, upon cyclization transformed into a cyclic conformer and when the other way happens that is from the cyclic to the linear conformer then it will be known as electrocyclic ring opening reaction and usually these reactions are categorized by the following criteria that uh, the reactions can be either photochemical or thermal that is the mode of activation of these reactions and they can be either ring opening and ring closing as i said and uh, depending on the type of the reaction be it photochemical or thermal whatever and the number of pi electrons involved in this react reaction like uh, 4n pi or 4n plus 2 pi the reaction can happen through either a condrotatory or a disrotatory mechanism i will talk about these two later in this uh, lecture and also the type of rotations that is the condrotation or disrotation will determine whether the cis or trans isomer of the product will be formed okay so these are basic uh, uh, criteria to realize or understand electrocyclic reactions. So now we will uh, go for a diagrammatic representation for that. So this is the uh, best possible way to represent the electrocyclic reactions uh, and as I said that uh, in intramolecular pericyclic reaction uh, the reversible convertible cyclic shift of electrons actually occurs by virtue of ring closing with the formation of new sigma bonds uh, across the ends of the conjugated acyclic pi systems of the polyenes be it uh, 14 pi or uh, 14 plus 2 pi or the other way the breaking of the ring to form the acyclic analog from its corresponding cyclic framework just like as i said in the in the first slide and these are the basically the electrocyclic reactions and the best possible representation as you can see in the following diagram uh, which involves the activation of the reaction either by heat or by UV light okay so the reaction follows the principle of uh, the microscopic reversibility actually and uh, the reaction sequence can be explained by three basic fundamental approaches okay the first one to be the correlation of the orbital symmetry of the terminal lobes of the interacting orbitals and also the second one is the perturbation of the molecular theory or the theory of aromaticity or anti-aromaticity in the transition states these are very important point and also the frontier molecular orbital approach of the homo lumo interactions of the orbital energies okay and uh, there are three major points that need to be considered as the conditions of this electrocyclic ring opening or ring closing uh, which involves the symmetry of the terminal orbitals which is very important in the conjugated pi system uh, this is of concern and this has to be considered uh, also the terminal p orbitals from the sigma bond by maintaining the phase distribution of the lobes after the rotation that has to be taken care of and uh, another point is two possible ways of rotation which are possible that is the condrotation mode and the this rotation mode so here uh, if i can highlight here that 
when we are talking about the disrotating ring closing you can see the arrow with the arrow if we go from left to right this shows the ring closing the electrocyclic ring closing and uh, with the disrotation you can see uh, the rotation of either lobes uh, uh, to either directions not in the same direction of uh, two lobes so this by this we mean the uh, the disrotatory mode of uh, ring closing or ring opening uh, so by that way or that uh, activation or mode of action the movement of the cis substituents actually becomes uh, or goes away from each other okay so like that way and when we are going for the ring opening then we have to again opt for the disrotatory ring opening and in that case you can see here that uh, the bond or the or lobes that are involved in the sigma bond here one has to go with the clockwise rotation the other one to be on the counterclockwise rotation okay again in the condotatory ring closing uh, for the pi systems foreign or foreign pi systems and uh, then it will follow this kind of uh, mode of action and ring closing where the two lobes will move uh, in the same directions either clockwise or anti-clockwise eventually the ring opening also opt the contradictory uh, mode of action to give the open chain analog or linear analog of the cyclic conformer this is also represented over here as you can see over here this is the condotatory mode where the two lobes are moving basically here the in the clockwise directions giving the open chain uh, analog here these are of the disrotatory mode you can see the two lobes are going uh, either opposite direction to each other and uh, this is the disrotatory ring opening when we are going forward direction and the backward direction of the reversible reaction we will have the cyclic analog back again uh, from the open chain analog okay so these are basically best possible way to represent the diagrammatic uh, representation of the electrocyclic reactions we will see some uh, examples of electrocyclic reactions here uh, we will see the mode of actions as i said earlier that that should be the thermal or photochemical and also the rotation of the terminal orbitals which are very very important under this mode of activations uh, to opt to get the ring opening or ring closing done okay so the example of these electrocyclic reactions and their stereochemical significance of the two modes of ring opening or closing are illustrated here through the uh, just let me take the highlighters yeah so these are illustrated here in presence of the mode of action that is the thermal and uh, photochemical transformation of the isomeric uh, 3,4 dimethyl cyclobutin uh, and the isomeric 1,3 uh, dienes you can see the open chain analog here so between these two and the mode of actions are thermal and photochemical and eventually you will see how these analogs can uh, transform to each other and con getting converted to the different isomers okay so these are examples some example of that this one with the uh, cyclobutene system this is the cyclohexadiene system eventually goes up with the analog of triene analog of open chain conformer so these are the examples uh, here the stereochemistry of the substituents uh, depends on the mode of the activation and of course the mode of rotation of the terminal orbitals as i said before that uh, uh, whether the terminal orbitals uh, opt the disrotatory motion then the product will be like this and if this uh, opt the condotatory motion then we will have a product like this so I, I hope you can realize the difference between the products by means of the terminal substituents here the orientation of two methyl groups and also uh, the orientation of two methyl groups here okay so I hope you uh, can realize that point now we will talk about some features of electrocyclic reactions uh, as you can see over here that the first point that we should keep in mind that these reactions are stereospecific and the stereospecificity being afforded by the disrotatory or condotatory nature of the bond baking or bond making process and uh, secondly the 4 pi or 4 n pi electron systems opt the condotatory mode of action when thermally promoted and the disrotatory mode of action or disrotatory motion when they are photochemically promoted 
the other way for the 4 n plus 2 or 6 pi electron systems are uh, they opt the disrotatory mode of action when they are thermally promoted and controtatory mode of action when they are photochemically pro promoted and finally the disrotatory or controtatory process involved in the bond breaking and making process is controlled by the homo uh, in case of thermal reaction or the singly occupied molecular orbital in case of photochemical reaction of the linear conjugated pi systems with either in the starting material or in the product. So in those cases the homo and somo those are the main orbitals or the main state of um, the starting materials that has to be considered. Now we will learn about the 6 pi electron systems. So this is a classical example of 6 pi electron system, the open chain analog. So in pericyclic reaction, the cyclization electrocyclic ring closure can proceed by this way. We will have a transition like this and eventually we will have a uh, meso product. Okay, so this, this happens with the 4n plus 2 pi system when the the, the terminal dienes are trans trans. So we end up with the meso product. What happens in case of the trans cis diene, the terminal diene system substitution is trans uh, cis. And in that case, the transition should go through that. We will have a mixture of enantiomers. Okay. So these are basic uh, mode of actions for 6 pi electron systems. We will see what happens in the 4 pi electron system. This is the trans trans uh, 4 pi electron system. And for this, upon electrocyclic ring closure, we will have the mixture of enantiomers in that case. Whereas the trans cis uh, diene system, one tributadiene system, eventually will lead to the meso product. So it happens quite the other way that happens in case of 4n plus 2 pi electron systems under thermal conditions. Now we will uh, consider the disrotatory motion in case of 4n plus 2 pi system or 6 pi, two, 6 pi electron systems and uh, we will understand the disrotatory motions and how the terminal substituents lead uh, to a particular stereochemistry in the product, in the cyclic conformer. Okay. And we will see by means of the disrotatory motion and we, for example, when uh, this goes with the transition state, it is inevitable to state that uh, this should be the transition state for that reaction. And in phase, when uh, we consider the dark dark lobe and they have to go for the or they have they opt the disrotatory mode of action. So this will be the mode of action for the dark dark lobes. Okay, the terminal orbitals, p orbitals. So what happened then? Then the methyl groups are pushed in the upward direction like this. If the lobes are coming down, the dark lobes are coming down. And eventually in phase that will lead to this meso product. That is the substituents will be in the cis fashion in the cyclic diene system. Okay, so we will have the meso product from the dark, dark, uh, activation or the dark dark movement of the terminal termini or terminal orbitals using the disrotatory motion for 6 pi electron systems. What we will see what happens if we go with the light light uh, orbital overlapping. So in that case this will be the again the transition state. Now we will consider the light light overlap that is this one to form the sigma bond in case of electrocycling ring closure and eventually that will push the methyl groups in such a way okay so that in phase eventually will lead to the formation of meso product again so what we understand but here the methyl groups are in below the plane as you can see here as they are pushed in the below the plane or in the below position so we will have uh, the meso conformer like this so what we can conclude from here that for the 6 pi electron systems the terminal substituents will lead to the meso product or the stereochemistry of the uh, cyclic compound will be uh, the meso compounds when the light light or dark dark lobes uh, they, they interact or they form the sigma bonds uh, in the transition phase to give the products okay so now we need to uh, understand what happens in the condensatory motion 
So we have seen the uh, distributed emotion for the six pi electron systems. Now we will realize the quantitative emotion uh, in the six pi electron system. What happens in that uh, scenario or that condition for the dark dark lobes if they opt the condotation? So here, this is the condotation. If the dark lobes are forming the sigma bond here, the terminal p orbitals. So in that case, the methyl groups in phase will be pushed like that way. Uh, one will be uh, push, uh, pushed in the up direction, one is the in the bottom direction. Therefore, that will lead to the formation of the enantiomeric mixture, okay, or the RS enantiomer for this uh, particular cyclic conformer, okay. Now we will see what happens if it goes with the light light mode. So in the light light mode, the condotation uh, for the terminal orbital of the uh, the light part light more uh, light uh, terminal lobes uh, of the p orbitals uh, so that will lead in phase the rotation of the methyl groups like this this will be the sr enantiomer so by any means of dark dark or light light overlapping of the terminal orbitals under the condotation mode six pi electron systems will lead to the enantiomeric mixture in the cyclic diene product okay now we will talk about uh, a bit more with the uh, with the homo of the foreign plus 2 pi systems here this is a general foreign plus 2 pi system that we were considering the triene system uh, with terminal methyl groups so this will be the shy 3 homo for this uh, foreign plus 2 pi systems uh, to be reactive and then we will have this dark lobes one option is that the dark lobe goes for the disrotation and we will have the meso product now the same way what will happen for if this is this is not the this is the trans 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 terminal diene of the photon plus 2 pi system now what happens what if we have a trans is uh, stereochemistry in in the substrate the the linear conformer or the linear analog of the triene system in same case this will have uh, it go to the shy 3 or the, or the homo for this uh, the for the electrocyclic enclosure that will be the the orbital to react and then again under this rotation it will lead up to the formation of enantiomers in the cyclic conformer Okay, so you need, you, this is to be clarified very clearly for the trans trans diene system of 4 n plus 2 system under this rotation, the meso product will be formed. And in case of trans cis dienes, I mean the terminal dienes, overall this is a triene system, of course. But uh, in the trans tra, trans cis system, the this rotation will lead to the enantiomeric mixture formation whatever we choose if we choose the dark dark or light light lobe to form the sigma bond in the in the uh, electrocycling reenclosure process so irrespective of that in case of 4n four, four pi system or 4 pi system what will happen we will see this should be shy 2 should be the homo and these are of course uh, uh, under the thermal conditions uh, nothing to say that because shy 3 for the triene system and shy 2 for the diene system should be the homo so um, under the thermal condition, if we opt this light light more uh, orbitals, lobes of the terminal p orbitals to form the sigma bond or to overlap under the condotatory mode, then it will lead to the mixture of enantiomers. And if we take up the cis trans diene system, butadiene system, so in that case, the similar shy 2 homo will lead uh, to the condotator by means of condotatory uh, mode of action the meso product and in that case this is also the dark dark irrespective of the dark dark or light light lobe of overlapping okay then we will see when the enantiomers are formed what are the conditions because in case of foreign pi systems the enantiomers are formed we can see and so in case of the two possible routes alternate routes and in both cases the shy 2 will be the homo uh, and this will be this orbital will be under reaction in case of electrocyclic reenclosure. So this is the shy two. 
and we are considering the light light lobes this is the shy two again we are considering the dark dark lobes okay so the two alternative and the equivalent modes of condensatory mode of action in phase are in overlap okay the dark dark and the light light we see what happens when we uh, let the orbitals go for the condensation so we can see how the two enantiomers are formed from the the trans butadiene system the the pi systems are trans trans so in that case we see how which lobe that means the dark lobes will lead to the ss enantiomeric form the the light lobes will lead to the rr form of the enantiomer so these are the basically the pair of enantiomers that in the previous slide i have said Finally, as I said, I will be talking about the rules and factors of electrocyclic reactions. As you can see over here, the 4n pi electron systems or 4 pi electron systems under the thermal mode of action, uh, which would be denoted under delta, as you can see in the parentheses, and that will opt the condensation mode of uh, being closure or opening. And in that case, if the reactant stereochemistry are trans trans and cis cis eventually the product will have a trans stereochemistry and if the reactants are trans cis then the product will have the cis stereochemistry in uh, in in uh, the existence again if the 4n pi system goes for the photochemical mode of activation or reaction it has to opt the disrotation and also for the trans trans and cis cis diene systems or uh, the reactants the and um, the product should be the cis one and the stereochemistry of product should be cis and in case of trans cis diene system uh, the product will be of trans stereochemistry or trans geometry what happens in 4 n plus 2 pi system under thermal conditions the disrotatory mode of action will be opt and the trans trans or cis cis diene systems in the substrate will eventually lead to the cis geometry in the product the trans cis stereochemistry in the reactant will lead to the trans stereochemistry in the product under the photochemical irradiation or uh, mode of action activation uh, in case of 4n plus 2 pi system the con rotation pathway will be opted and the trans trans or cis cis diene system eventually lead to the formation of trans stereochemistry in the product the trans cis will lead to the cis stereochemistry of the product so this is in one table and uh, these are available in many places i hope you can get from anywhere else as well but uh, in a, in, a, in a table you can have this in this video so you can realize that the considering the pi system in your substrate you can understand under the thermal or photochemical condition which pathway to opt and what should be the stereochemistry of product when you have the idea of the stereochemistry of the reactants so thank you for watching tg chemistry and keep watching tg chemistry and if you like the videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications to get uh, new videos so thank you